Medicaid expansion remains a top priority for Puerto Rico Congresswoman Jennifer Gonzalez Colon. Our Washington correspondent Matt Knadler sat down with her recently to see where things stand in terms of Medicaid funding for residents of the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. Medicaid uh, is, is one of the biggest issues. Uh, you know that to September. I meant to ask you about that, yes. Uh, September the 30th, uh, uh, we're going to be um, uh, having, uh, we were supposed to have uh, a Medicaid cliff, but uh, luckily uh, we've been working with HHS and they gave an interpretation of instead of receiving $390 million a year for Medicaid, uh, the number that's going to be used is the one that the Trump administration signed. Mm -hmm. That was $2.9 billion. So right now our main challenge is uh, to raise uh, the FMAP, the federal matching uh, funds for, for that Medicaid portion. Uh, and we're talking that territories receive 55% or 55 cents per dollar. Uh, now we are saying that we should be up to 76%. But remember, the rest of the states uh, don't, do not have that formula. They use the, the general income of the person. Mm -hmm. uh, if that is the case, Puerto Rico will be up to 82, 86%. Uh, but we are saying 76 percent uh, could be to could work for us uh, during the last during the 2017 2018 the Trump administration allowed Puerto Rico to receive 100 percent federal FMAP 100 percent never in the history uh, the government the federal government allowed Puerto Rico to have 100 percent FMAP mm -hmm. um, and then uh, during 2018 and 19 uh, the number was to 76 percent so right now, if there's no legislation, we're going to get back to the Territories Act that will be 55%. And that means that the local government need to put more money on the table just to match the federal allocation. Uh, so that's the reason we are focusing right now on including in the budget, uh, raising from 55% to 76% the uh, federal match share for Puerto Rico and Medicaid. Um, the CR would include uh, extending what we got right now, which is 76% plus 6.2% for COVID uh, for Medicaid on the island until December the 3rd. Uh, so we are not going to be losing any lives in terms of uh, the Medicaid system in Puerto Rico that serves 1.5 million residents. Uh, but yeah, we need, we, we need to still work uh, to have that included in the budget. 